So it's Wisdom Wednesday and I'm trying to get into the practice of doing weekly readings with tarot um, or tarot or um, it's pronounced so many different ways. But um, I wanted to take some time tonight. I have a few minutes and uh, pull some cards just for um, the collective. So for everybody in some form or fashion, this should make some sense to you. Um, so uh, let's do that. So the first card that I drew for all of us was the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords, it talks about, well, swords in general talk about power, right? Taking action. It's talking about um, intellect and, um, you know, really honing in on that. And so in this card, you can kind of see one of the guys is taking the swords from everybody and you have two guys walking away. And what I'm getting from this card is really that we all need to practice discernment just a little bit more than what we have been. We need to be more aware of what's going on around us, the people around us, and pay attention to some of the subtle signs that we're just not paying attention to. All of us have people around us who wear a mask, who are not quite what they appear to us. And so for me, and for what I'm getting to share with everybody is, take the time to be more aware of your surroundings. Take some time and really soak in some of what's going on around you, some of the people around you, the situations around you, and um, expand your perception. Expand it a little bit more to kind of see things from different angles so that you can get a better view and make better judgments of what and who is around you, okay? <clears throat> The next card that I drew, and this is a three card spread. The next card that I drew is the chariot. And so for me to go a little bit more along with um, what I was saying is for me, this is just a reminder that we are in control of our lives. We have, you know, free will. And so regardless of what's going on around us and that fear of things are spiraling out of control and we have no control over what's going on, this card is here to remind us that we do have control. We just need to tap into our confidence a little bit more. We need to be a little bit more assertive, maybe a little bit more bold. Um, remove the emotion from it a little bit, right? This is more of the finding our confidence and rolling with it. Not necessarily tapping into those emotions or running with those initial emotions that are coming through with us. When the chariot comes, we are going strong. We are moving forward with confidence and assurance that we are gonna get what we're going for, for whatever that may mean, whether that is a relationship, if that's financial, um, because of the five of swords, I feel like this is more of speaking up a little bit more for being more assertive with ourselves, um, with the relationships and the situations around us. So just to show you a little bit more, this is the chariot. And the final card that I drew tonight is the moon. I love the moon. So this is the moon. For me, the moon speaks to our intuition, right? It speaks to um, releasing the need to have the answers, releasing the instant gratification that I need to know what's coming next. I need to understand what's happening. Why is this happening? What's coming next? Um, with the moon, it kind of taps into our shadow side, right? Those fears that we have, those anxieties of not having the answers when we want them. And so for me, this card... Um, what I'm getting through this card is that it's a time for us to, while we're practicing discernment, right, with the five of swords, and we're moving forward with the chariot, we also need to face what's bubbling up inside of us, the anxieties. We need to tap into some of the fears that we have going on and release those. We need to be able to kind of tap into what no longer serves us and release it so that we can experience those higher levels of 
understanding, those higher levels of awareness that we've been blinded from because we're so constricted by our emotions. We're so constricted by the need to know everything when really we have no clue. We're not here to know what's going on, right? We have free will. We make decisions, but we don't know where those decisions are going to take us if we're not aware, if we're not listening to our intuition and making the right choices. So um, here's a view of the moon again. Um, so again, so for me, and let's see if I can pick all these up and kind of show them to you all at once. Right, the story here is, I think it's really just mostly about relationships right now. And I'm not saying romantic relationships, but just paying attention to who we are keeping around us, who our tribe is, right? Discerning between the, um, the people that don't really serve us, between the people that really do, and making sure we can understand the difference. When we are understanding the difference, we're moving forward with confidence and we're releasing what doesn't serve us so we can grow from this, right? So we can grow from the situations we're in and the relationships that we're in. So I hope this helps. I would love some feedback. Um, I'd like to know how this reading sits with you, what resonates with you, what you're taking from this. And um, let me know how you feel about it. I'm feeling really good about this. It's, this plays a big part in what's going on in my world. And I can think of a few other people around me that, that are also having some similar, um, you know, situations arise where this, this kind of fits in. So um, thanks for tuning in. I'm really excited to see what you think. And um, if this is something you guys really like, then I'm going to keep it up. So have an awesome Wednesday.